Hi there, Sensei Victoria Whitfield here from victoriawhitfield.com for your weekly love letter. This week, Spirit is asking that we discuss activating the energy of your food and drink through the use of chi balls or energy balls. Now, what a chi ball or an energy ball is, is when we form a field of high vibrational energy through using the chakras, the movement chakras, in the palms of our hands. So, what I want you to do, this is going to be an uh, activity video, so I hope you're not walking or driving or else we won't get to participate. Okay? So, take your hand and what I want you to do is take your middle finger and bring it down into the middle of your palm. Right there, wherever your middle finger lands, is the Lao Gong, which is the energy chakra, the sending energy chakra of each palm. So each palm has chakras in the middle of it, um, in the Chinese tradition, it's called the Lao Gong, where we are able to send energy, or send qi, as it's called in Chinese, qi in Japanese. Uh, Reiki comes from the Japanese lineage of energy work. Qigong comes from Chinese lineage of energy work. Just, it's, it's all cousins of similar practices and knowledge, healing knowledge, so that's why we're going to be mixing tradition as well as chakras and pranayama and pranic therapy. We're, we're all cousins, we're all one, we're one big tribe, so. I'm going to be using a lot of terms interchangeably, but if you need to kind of uh, look, look it up on Google, that's okay, I understand. Regardless of the terminology being used though, the energy is saying all you need to know is how to do it. <laughs> so don't worry what you call it. Um, I can't tell you how many people I've met, they said, oh, so that's what Reiki is, or that's what energy work. I've been doing that since I was a little kid. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> it's very real. Okay, so now that we've found the Lao Gong, or the movement chakras, the energy chakras, in our hands, we want to wake them up by rubbing them together. This is all to prepare for creating your energy ball and you rub them together to get a lot of friction until they're really warm and then separate them maybe about an inch or two remember to breathe because <laughs> this is the point where people are like holding their breath trying to feel the energy now of course there's extra blood flow coming to your hands but do you notice the magnetism just between your hands right now. Um, maybe they're very close by or maybe they're farther apart, but what I want you to do wherever they're at is move them gently in and out. Maybe millimeters in and out so that you can intensify the magnetism between the two of your hands. And as you do that, when you pull your hands apart, it should feel like there's a rubber band wrapped around them. And when you push them gently together, it should feel like there's a balloon there. Like a small balloon or a ball. And you know what? That is your chi ball. The way that we send more chi into it is you breathe deeply. So each time you inhale, see and feel healing light going into that ball. Where is it coming from? Let's say it's coming from the sun. The sun's always shining, even when it's nighttime. Or it could be coming from spirit. Whatever is a big energy source. Don't pull it just from the air around you. When I first started doing this, that was actually uh, that was a problem I was in. I was like, mine are so small. <laughs> or they run out really fast and luckily uh, I spoke to someone um, who had more experience 
and they guided me to say, oh, no, 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 pull from a bigger energy source like the sun or from God or from a star, the sky, something big. And as you inhale, as you get used to it, relax your hands. Naturally, it's like blowing up a balloon between your hands. When it gets to the size that is comfortable for you, and remember, this energy is not coming from you. You're just a faucet. You're just a faucet. The faucet doesn't pour itself like the metal that it's made out of, you know, into your into your cup of water. It doesn't pour itself into it, it pours the water that it's channeling. So you're the same way right now. This is not your energy. And if you're trying to mm, make it happen, you're doing you're you're working too hard. I almost said you're doing it wrong. You're not doing it wrong. You're doing it slow. Let go and allow the water, the energy, the chi to flow right through you until it gets to a size that you feel comfortable with. Now this energy ball, you can continue to rubber band it, feeling its presence. But what I want you to do next is use this ball to bless your food or your water. The next time you go to drink some water or any beverage, even alcohol, raise the vibration of the alcohol you drink or even the cigarettes you use. You know, don't worry about um, kicking your habit to coffee or something or, or going cold turkey. Send love to it first. You'd be surprised the more love you send to it, the less you need it in your life. Right? So take this energy ball and then put it into your food or hold it around the water, seeing that there's love and healing energy going into the water, into the beer, <laughs> into the cigarettes, into the, into the steak, or into the salad, whatever it is that you're about to bring into your body so that you can bring a higher vibration into you. Or you could just take it and bring it right into yourself. Pausing for a moment to see what that feels like. Maybe it's tingly, warm, vibrating, or flowing all around you, or maybe when you close your eyes you see colors or it's bright. Send me an email back, let me know what this feels like to you. I hear the oracle cards calling right now. This week's deck is Earth Magic by Stephen Farmer. So I'm going to ask the energy, what do we need to know right now about raising the vibration of what we put into our bodies, specifically through using chi balls? I'm interested. Uh, because chi is natural ambient energy, and the universe is infinitely abundant with it. So as we hone it and become faucets or channels of healing energy, we raise the vibration of not only ourselves, but also our environment by ripple effect. And this is the card for this week. <gasps> Reflection. Beautiful winter solstice. What I'm hearing in the energy to tell you from this card, the reason why they're sending us these beautiful bear trees and the water reflecting them perfectly, and it's winter time, even though it may be warm when we're recording this or when you're watching this. Winter solstice is about the midpoint between light and dark. It's the return of light. The winter solstice is the last time, it's the longest night, it's the end of darkness and the return of longer days, an increase in light being in our lives. And that is why Spirit is bringing that to us. This practice brings more light and more energy into your life. 
blessing your food, blessing all the things that you're about to receive into your body by raising their vibration. The reflection, they're telling me that this image is also significant too because this is your lungs and breath is what I'm hearing. Like they're showing me images of the branches uh, of bronchial tubing in our in our lungs and that's why this image is speaking in particular also it's blue having to do with the throat chakra so there's a natural ebb and flow to our lives and if we're feeling low energy like we're on a they're saying it's like being on a long exhale it's time to inhale and bring in more higher vibrations specifically with just this technique in particular, there are many ways that you can do it, but this is just one way that Spirit wanted you to know this week in particular. And that helps us to really experience our truth and feel and express more of who we really are because we're accessing more energy, hence the blueness of the throat chakra. So, get your energy ball going. Warm it up. Feel it and send it, okay? Sending you so much love and positive energy. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.